the beef business is one of the most slow um, industries to evolve in that way. And part of the reason, obviously, is because of the land base, land base and the number of producers and all those kind of things. But um, as I look 20 years down the road, uh, I, I, I'm always and I'm, I've always thought this way. Logical things happen. So if you see things that are illogical that are happening, uh, it's because someone's being paid. <laughs> to, <laughs> someone's being paid. And that's the reason, at least for the short period of time, that illogical things happen. But in the long term, um, those things take care of themselves uh, because illogical systems and illogical um, reasons for doing business, don't, they don't last um, because ultimately they go back to the fundamentals. And um, one of the things, you know, as you look out 20 years, uh, there's always going to be important things at the farm and ranch level. Uh, the ownership and control of land and how that affects the beef business will always be important. Um, um, you know, things are going to change marketing wise, labor wise, systems wise. Uh, but the, the core things, you know, somebody has to raise the cow, somebody has to do the work, somebody has to deliver the product and the product has to be phenomenal. Um, for what we're for what we're asking for that product today and what we're hoping to be asked for that product 20 years from now, um, it has to be exceptional. 